Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, this is Sobhuz Hussain, uh, Managing Director of NSS Solutions. Today, I am here to present IUKL, who is known as Infrastructure University. Why it's Infrastructure University? Because it's architecture and their faculties. There are many fa faculties they are offering. So today, here, there are few numbers of special guests. So you guys, like, can imagine, like, with me, there are different kind of departments, different department head with me. So if you have guys any questions regarding the department, even the subject, so you just drop your question in our comments box and our special chief guests, all they are going to reply your questions. So with me, the present, yeah, the most handsome boy, like the guy is Brother Raz, Seven <laughs> Raz is the International Marketing Operation Officer. And with me also, uh, another uh, is the Dr. Hasbin Hassan. He is the lecturer of the business faculties, and also with me, another lecturer, head of the computer science and networking, Miss Pisa. And we have another person. Uh, currently, she is in disconnected, but she is coming soon. She is uh, head of the department of computer science in software engineering. So, if you have guys any question about the courses that I will offering, so you will get all the details today. So don't miss this chance because the lecture are here. So if you want to know about anything, about any course, you will get today. Because this chance you will not get, you will not get any lecture. So you can see like a lot of video marketing officer, many more, but you will never see like the lecture are here in the live. So you can ask your lecturer who are going to guiding you. And the lecturer always giving you the actual and pure information about the course, subject, and all those things. So now I'm going to pass to Brother Ross to describe about the IUK. Hello, hi, Brother Ross. Hi, Sobhuz. Thank you for welcoming me. Hello, guys. Yes, I'm Brother Raj. I'm an international marketing uh, executive here. Okay, before we go through with the uh, topic here today, it's uh, really a best topic. Uh, today we're going to discuss about the IT. What's the what is actually an IT program and what is the topic that we included in the IT and how many programs that we have in our UKL. Okay, before we start with the topic, uh, I'm going to just say this uh, about IUKL. What is IUKL? IUKL was a beginning in the 97, which is 1997, when the Research and Training Institute of the Public Works Department. Uh, so called like IUKL is a one of the, we actually a training and industry for the engineers in Malaysia. I believe in Malaysia it's called like a public work department of Bangladesh. Uh, sorry, in Malaysia it's called a uh, public department of Malaysia. In Bangladesh it's called uh, public works of Bangladesh. Yeah, uh, correct, guys. Yeah, so public uh, work. Public work of department of Bangladesh. Correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we was established in a training center for the engineers. That's the thing is, uh, IUK is a one of the well-known industry for the infrastructure related uh, programs and also architecture and one of the another top program in IUK which is known as uh, IT so we have invited Madam Suhaila, uh, Madam Afiza and Dr. Asrin who are here uh, to be uh, helping to forward and guide some guideline on the IT program and uh, let me pass to Madam Suhaila she's gonna introduce about herself and also the program and she's a head of the department of the IT uh, faculty, which is Faculty of Human Science uh, Engineering. So, Madam Suhaila, let me introduce herself. Thank you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, Miss. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe Madam can help me by sharing the slide. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Faila Mahmoud Nordin. I am the head of software engineering program in IKL. I have been here for more than 14 years already and have been specializing in software engineering. So before I explain in detail about uh, what are the programs uh, we are specializing in uh, computing department in Faculty of Engineering, Science and Technology, I will uh, quickly brief you about the program that we had or we are offering in our faculty. So, Madam Afis, let me go to our faculty. Okay, this is uh, our faculty, Faculty of Engineering, Science and Technology. So, 
So I'm going to explain about uh, programs that we offered here quickly. So in fact, so the first department that we have is called Department of Civil Engineering. We have one bachelor program and two diploma program in civil engineering with honors for bachelor, diploma in civil engineering, and diploma in geometric engineering. The second department is Department of uh, Electrical and Electronic Engineering. So in this department, uh, in our faculty, we offer Bachelor of Electronic Engineering with honors. Bachelor of Technology, Electromechanical, and Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Okay, our next department is Department of um, Technical Engineering. Okay. The uh, next department. Yeah, Mechanical. I'm sharing okay. now. Can you okay. see? Yes, mechanical engineering with honors. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm sharing now. Oh, can you see? Um, mechanical department, can we move to the next slide? Okay, the next department is Department of Mechanical Engineering. This is Department of Biotechnology and Architecture. We can see that. So, can you see Ila? Yeah, yeah, this is Mechanical Engineering. Yes. Because the slide does not change. Yeah, this is the of mechanical and automotive engineering. We can see it. Okay. Uh, we have mechanical engineering, and in mechanical engineering, we have bachelor of technology in autom automotive and mechanical engineering with honors, with two diploma program, mechanical uh, diploma in mechanical and diploma in automotive engineering. Uh, the next slide is Department of Biotechnology and Agricultural Science. So for okay. this department, we have four programs, Bachelor in Biotechnology, Bachelor of Agricultural Science, Plantation Management, Diploma in Agricultural Science, Plantation Management, and Diploma in Biotechnology. So actually, the main thing that we want to focus today it's about the program of uh, sorry to interrupt uh, there have uh, some audience comments me personally like your voice is getting like not clear i don't know so could you please check so because there are a lot of viewers you know almost 40 so they all your students they are waiting the voice is a bit like interrupting. <laughs> you can't hear my voice it's i can hear but the voice is coming like uh, one drop on So, is it now? Uh, not yet. So, uh, uh, could you please refresh again? So, or you can log in again. So, it will be uh, give more clear. So, I'll pick you. Okay, miss. I'm sorry to interrupt you. And sorry to interrupt all these students. There are 46 students we can see now. They are in live. So, yeah, this is a good chance for you guys. The lecturer are here. So, you can ask any question to the lecturer directly. Not marketing officer, not promoting like that things because they're lecturer, they're your parents. Like they will guide you in the perfect way. In the uh, like, as a mother, they are, will teach you. As a father, they will teach you. They are, what program is better for you? So don't worry. Comments us, and your lecturer will replay your questions. So when you come Malaysia, you can see that lecturer. Oh, you see something? Say okay, you told me like this program. That are the things. So you can ask them. So yeah, this is the same things you can see. So when you come also. So this is the best chance, I think, ever. You never meet with any lecturer before any live video. So now we are trying to join with the lecturer. So they can preview all the programs, courses. Not the tuition fees, not the visa process. It's about the courses. So you will know more about that, about the course. What is the best opportunity for that course? So yeah, now I'm going to pass to, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, Ms. Sohaila, so I'm going to pass Ms. Sohaila, so we'll see, you we'll try. Thank you, Ms. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask my mic now? Is it clear? Uh, it's still a bit crafting. So because my internet is 40. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the thing. This afternoon was okay. Yeah, afternoon was very perfect. Is it okay now? Okay, oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, in the department of computing, we it's have 
Can I continue? Yeah, please, uh, could you please uh, log out again, log in? I think that will be better. Yeah, yeah. Now if you log in, so we we'll, you can see like the network can become yeah. So, Miss, are you there, Miss? Oh, no, it's clear. Now also not My clear as. Well. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can stop then you'll see like uh, the, yeah it's still the crop uh, like uh, like dropping the word so we can see we can pick up so I think the today is the best and the highest viewers I can see 68 it's cross 70 almost so this is like a lot of students waiting for you to listen you miss yeah you can go on miss Uh, Miss Sohala, can you hear me? Can, can. can I continue now? Yeah, you can continue. Okay. Uh, the program that we have in our department, uh, we are specializing in uh, software engineering, computer science, and information technology, online enabled technology for bachelor's degree. And for diploma, we are specializing in information technology and also in software engineering. So I'm going to explain about the first uh, bachelor program that we have. Uh, can we go to the next slide? Yeah. Sure, Miss. Yeah, you, you can go on next slide. OK. Uh, Oh, it's, yeah. Sorry, audience. Don't worry. Today, as long as you are here, we are here. No problem. Don't no time limitation. So I want the lecturer to give you full thing, full everything, information, all information. So whatever you have, guys, any question, just drop the questions. You will get the answer, all answer of the program. It's not like any business today. It's not business talk. Today is just education talk, study talk. OK, Miss, okay. could you please continue? OK, um, uh, you will learn about uh, how to uh, information, framework uh, gathering, design software, develop, and verify the software with the user. And we also, uh, this program also will train the student to be a critical thinker and also problem solver. So next one, uh, this program also developed in competition with the industry input, meaning the content, the curricular are uh, always updated. We always, uh, we try to understand the need of the industry and we try to make the student familiar with the current trend as well. And the next one, uh, Uh, I think, uh, yeah, sorry, audience, like Miss Sohaila have some uh, like uh, technical errors, so don't you worry. Uh, she's joining, no problems. We are here. Hello, hi. Yeah, Miss Nar. Sorry about the network, it happens. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we try to make our students become a web developer that can uh, evolve with the current and technology as well, become more agile as the software. Uh, agile process. Okay, next slide. Next slide. Software engineering, yes. Okay. Uh, the next one, when you choose a program, definitely you need, you want to know your career path. Okay. So in career path, uh, this is generally the basic career path for software engineering or software graduate where you, uh, after you graduate, you can become a software engineer for a few years, you become senior engineers, and then you become the leaders of software engineer industry. And then at this level, you can decide or the organization will decide whether you go under technical perspective or managerial perspective. If you are under technical, you will be appointed as a principal software engineer senior principal software engineer and maybe the consultant or distinguished engineer if you are under managerial part you become software engineer manager director and also the vice president of the organization 
So these these some of the career paths that we can explain for software engineer graduate. Next slide. Beside, beside becoming software engineer. So when you choose the program, you can become other, uh, other career prospect. These job skills are very high in demand because I can say now we are talking about MCO, we are talking about work from home, we are talking about stable network software, online teaching, online meetings. So software industry, software program uh, career should be like hot stuff nowadays. You can you can become software engineer, application analyst, application developer. You can develop mobile apps. You know you use handphone, um, smartphone. So many apps are available. Who develop those uh, application? Software engineers, uh, software developers. You can be also become software tester. You know the successful of a software is depending on the sustainability of the functional functionality uh, perspective of the software. So it requires someone to audit the software. So when you become software engineer graduate, you can also consider uh, a career in software testing, become a software tester, like auditors of software functionality. Or you can also become requirements engineer. This is where people uh, interact with client. User. Uh, if if you are if you are uh, good with uh, people communication like Shobus here, you can become requirements engineer. You know you can communicate with people well. You can convince people about uh, the software that you want to sell or the software that you want to develop. Then that's why I say. If you take the bachelor's of engineering, job skills are very, very much required nowadays. Can we go to the next? Oh, amazing. Uh, well, I got a few questions from you guys, uh, like from the uh, audience. Uh, so we go later. So after discuss this slide, I think. So, okay, okay. so you stay with us. You will get a lot of information. So uh, comments us, our, your lecturer. This is like i can say is your lecturer you ask your questions so you'll get the solution today is the like answer and question solution okay miss this is new online is not very clear so i cannot get the question if you can type at the chat uh, please then i can read and answer is it okay uh, no let, later on i'll show you i did not uh, put, uh, put later so after I to ask, I the next slide can i yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Please continue the okay. slide, please. Okay, the next uh, program in IT that is very, very marketable nowadays if you're looking for a job uh, in, in, the, in the IT industry, especially of computer science. So when you are taking this course, you will study the theory of software, definitely. And also, uh, you are going to be trained to become a problem solver because the main objective of this program is to produce computer scientists. If you look at my slide, you can see Alan Turing. This is actually the father of computer science. So he is one of the uh, earliest scientists in the computer industry. So now computer science are focusing in producing uh, computer scientists. We are talking about big data industry. We are talking about uh, the smart system. We are talking about artificial intelligence. Uh, those kind of systems. In computer science graduate, so uh, we have a very excellent prospect, career prospect, learning prospect, because the technology also uh, become very, very important. And computer scientists can earn big money nowadays. So can we move to the next slide, please? Okay, Miss. Uh, there are a few comments I got. So can we go through a uh, to audience, or we want to finish the uh, slide first, Miss. Sure. I cannot uh, hear the question, but maybe my colleague can answer the question if they can uh, hear it uh, clearly. Okay, then uh, uh, yeah, you could continue the slide, then later on we will go on question. 
I'm so sorry. I got it. It's like, okay, yeah. I want to explain about career prospect or job skill in computer science. We are not only talking about application analyst or application developer. Nowadays, we are talking about a, a cyber security analyst. You know, when you develop a system, a successful system is going to uh, uh, convince with the security and the safety of the software. This is where the cyber security analysts become very, very important. And we try to expose the student uh, in Bachelor of Computer Science into this particular mm -hmm. area. That, that they can become data analysts, data administrator, or forensic computer analysts. This is like uh, studying mm -hmm. the hackers or hacking activities, hackers' behavior, those kind of things. And also, finally, they can also become software developer. Uh, and we proceed to the next slide. Next slide. Okay, this is big data. Interesting career to explore in big data. Okay, these are some of the interesting career. Computer science graduate, software engineering, and uh, can uh, involve in. We have data scientists, we have a big data engineer, we have a machine learning scientist. So these are some of the new, uh, you know, top prospect or career prospect that are available nowadays. So that's why if you're taking computer science, you are focusing on mathematical analysis. Uh, uh, activities and then uh, artificial intelligence, uh, data, big data uh, studies in big data studies and so on. So we try to prepare our students to be ready in the next coming uh, interesting career at the industry. So the next program is the next program. Okay, this is also one of uh, our uh, well cell program. It's Bachelor of Information Technology in Network Technology. When I talk about uh, engineering and computer science, we are talking about the skin of the technology, skin of the what do you call, civilization. Talk about network technology, we are looking at the skeleton part of the civilization where we need proper network because of my network is not very well maybe that's why i cannot answer your question so if the network is good the connectivity is good and stable and then the iot technology internet of things everything on the net website becomes stable and people will be you know uh, the, the technology usage will be more and the, the job uh, for the uh, graduate also will be more. So in network technology, they will learn how to design, implement, secure, and manage communication network. Uh, so in this program, they will be they will be involving technical uh, activity. They will play with the cables, with the servers, routers, uh, test connecti connectivity, and those kind of things. Why network? Networking still gives you an edge and opportunity to make a career in almost any sector you can imagine. You see, hospital uh, industry required network. Uh, food industry required network. Any industry nowadays are required, requiring these uh, hardware facilities. So I can say if you graduate from this program or any of our program, you are supposed to get good jobs. And finally, one of the important features of our program, besides computer science, software, and also network, all the graduates can take Cisco certification. This Cisco certification has been abandoned in IPNP. And the course for Cisco also has become the elective for software engineering and computer science. So meaning you can, if you take the bachelor program here in IUKL, you can become software engineer with Cisco certification. 
you can become a computer science graduate, business course certification, and you can also become a network engineer, definitely business course certification. Uh, for network, these courses have become compulsory because we want our network graduate to be equipped with this certification. You know, one of my previous students, uh, the alumni of uh, I have a network technology. He fresh graduate. Uh, he did not take the full exam for Cisco, but he attended all three modules of Cisco. Uh, after graduating, he managed to secure job with the salary of four thousand five hundred ringgit Malaysia. Fresh graduate. So, is it Malaysian or international, Miss? The first graduate. That one, uh, he's a Malaysian graduate. He managed to get a job in Sarawak, and they pay him four thousand five hundred ringgit Malaysia. Just graduated from the program. So is it, I Miss. However, the international students for the job career or job opportunity in Malaysia. So when we are talking about Malaysia, so could you please tell to our students, our audience who are watching us, so it will be very helpful for them. As you are lecturer, not like uh, if other person who are marketing officer, they say something like for marketing, but as a lecturer, you can say like more clear and clarification. I, I don't really get the question, but what I can say to you, this certification is internationally recognized. Say if you are from Bangladesh, you are from India, or any any part of the world. If you have this, if you attended the courses that we offer, regardless it's under elective or uh, main uh, main people, you have the certification. You can use the uh, certificate of attendance anywhere in the world. So I think this is definitely added uh, value to graduate. Thank can you very much for your kind uh, information for uh, this. So, Bas, can, can I interrupt? Yes, can of I course. Interrupt? Okay, uh, to, to answer your questions yes. uh, about the international graduates, we have a um, few international graduates who managed to secure jobs in Malaysia, such as yes. some of them, uh, they, they got a placement in uh, Cellcom, and we have uh, one of our graduates. Uh, who became a security uh, head in uh, one of the company in Malaysia. Oh, that's great. That's great. I yeah. think this is a very good example for the international students who would like yeah. to study in Malaysia and who would prefer to finding a job in Malaysia. Yeah. I'm a student uh, from Bangladesh. She's a lady. She became a tester in Malaysia. Oh, that's great. That's great to know. Yeah. So uh, I think I can show a picture of Bangladeshi students. A uh, like a few numbers of Bangladeshi students. They 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 can see like uh, later on. So this is the Bangladeshi community in IUK. So if you guys don't know, so you can see how many students are studying in IUK Bangladeshi. So you will get the dress, a red and green dress. So they all, yeah, you can see Bangladeshi traditional dress. So th I think this is very helpful for the students. Oh, they have very very good community in. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, and many more students are newly coming, so uh, yeah, the the like community will be more stronger and bigger. Okay, Miss, please continue. Okay. So I I think uh, we could uh, see like there are many audience waiting for the question. So. Can I go for like to like answering session? So they might can like. So th there have a few questions from the audience. Like I can say, this is like one I don't know. Alam Guriamdi, Kai sir. Hello sir. Yeah. So I think it's a referred to Dr. Haslin Hassan. Hello sir. Hey, can you hello. Hear? Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can hear. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, you mention my name? Why? No, no, no. <laughs> because you, you, you are the no, you are the professor here, sir. Because I am not also sir, and also all are, uh, the, the another two lecturer miss. 
<laughs> so I, I, I got so like some other question also from okay if this is the one line as well is this semester is one line as well i think this question for brother ross could you please uh, reply to the student <laughs> hi dahul uh, thank you for your inquiry yes this semester for the june semester will be conducted uh, in online basis okay so, uh, we still accepting the application for the june application so any students who are willing to wants to join for the june semester uh, you are welcome uh, to join for the june semester you can do a submission of your document to ns solution to get the exemption and uh, you can immediately can apply for the visa application okay so the the june semester will be conduct fully online so until the situation get uh, get normal so once the situation is get normal you can be fly back to malaysia uh, to conduct a physical classes lah okay dahu there's any questions okay that's great thank you there have one question from my side like the students if they continue in yes, online sure can so if the flight open they can fly anytime or they have to wait to until finish the semester Okay, uh, it's uh, actually uh, we are still waiting for the answer from our immigration officer. Uh, we're still waiting for the answer for this. But usually, if the situation get normal, if the visa is approved, is hundred percent approved, uh, there's no worry that students can be travel to Malaysia. There's no any uh, uh, there's a high chance that students can be travel to Malaysia. There's a uh, you can so no worry about that. Okay. But make sure the visa should be approved hundred percent. Okay. As for now, the students who can start the online classes for only for students who are actually the visa uh, is still in the thirty six percent or thirty five percent be allowed for the register for the June semester through online. If they want to fly to Malaysia, make sure the visa must be approved hundred percent. Okay. Thank you very much. So I got another question. Thank you very much, Brother Ras, for your like you. uh, very like. Good explanation to the students. So this is Morshed Khan. Yeah. Hello, I'm from Silet. I passed in. Hi, the... Morshed Khan. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Morshed Khan. I passed in the 2012. Can I go there? So this is for Brother Raz, I think. Ah, uh, no worry. Okay. Yes, Morshed Khan. Yes, you can join for the June semester immediately. No worry, you can do the submission of your document uh, for apply the uh, apply for the any program that you want to join. Since you already completed SSC in the year two two thousand and twelve, so you can be proceed either for foundation or diploma program. Okay, we do have a diploma in information technology or diploma in software engineering. So either two, you can be joined into this two program lah. Uh, or else you can go for foundation in science or foundation in arts, so leading to bachelor program. Okay, I've answered your question, uh, Mr. Mamsun Khan. If you have any question more, you just can put it up uh, in the chat box. Yeah. Any questions? Hello, Samso, Samport. <laughs> nice name, Samport. Any questions so far? Yes, Alan Turing, computer science lecturer. <laughs> yes, dear Asma, yes, that's true. Alan Turing is one of the first computer, uh, one of the first scientists who, uh, who is actually designed the modern computer. Okay, is there any question? I think there's no question uh, after this. So we may just proceed. Madam um, Suhaila, you have done a section, right? Uh, so Abus, that's done. There's no more question, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no more question. <laughs> uh, Hello, I'm so sorry for the network. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, is there anything you want me to say on the slide? Yeah, yeah, you can continue your slide, Miss. So, yeah. So, this is the, they're going to talk about the best kind of the development promotion technology. I think yeah, one yeah. of the callers uh, talked about the Enigma machine, uh, Alan Turing. So, I think you guys should watch a movie called Imitation Game. Uh, the actor is. 
Aduh. Ha. Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, imitation game. So if you watch uh. that movie, uh, the movie is about Alan Turing, the father of the computer science. Okay, this, this is the career path for network technology. Uh, you can start some system admin or have desk technician and then you can reach until chief network architect or the sky is the limit lah, uh, depends to the organization. So can we go to the next slide, Madam Havina? Okay, uh, we have two diploma, diploma in IT. So as I explained earlier, if the candidate cannot decide, you are after secondary school and you do not want to go to foundation program, you can enroll the diploma program. If you do not, you cannot decide whether you want to become a more engineer, software engineer, or you want to become computer scientist, you can take a program. So in this program, it will teach you everything about information technology. And after that, you can decide which special program you are uh, interested in. So in this, the, the next, this program will also expose programming languages skill to allow students to be competent in application and website development as well as Uh, so highlights the next diploma. Next diploma graduate. Next program is diploma in software engineering. Okay, uh, this are the career. If you finish diploma, you can uh, enroll get uh, involved in this uh, area, become senior developer, database administrator, IT sales executive. Uh, but it is advisable for us to go until bachelor. So uh, if you finish diploma, you can get uh, what do you call that? Any exemption when you go to bachelor degree program. So can we go to the I think the last slide? Diploma in software engineering. Diploma in Software Engineering. So for Diploma in Software Engineering is for the students who have been decided they want to become software developer. So if they want to be software developer, they can enroll to this program. So Diploma in Software Engineering equips students with skill of designing, developing, and maintaining software systems. Modern programming languages, design, and algorithm concepts, data management tools, and modeling methodologies. This program also exposes students to some knowledge of system integration, enterprise programming, mobile computing, and we try to involve our students to hands on activity as well. I think um, for a diploma of an engineering graduate, they can become software tester, junior software tester, junior developer, IT sales executive, database administrator, computer technical support, and system administrator. So, uh, I think that's all from my side. Thank you very much, Miss for your yeah. The, okay. There is a scholarship section, so the students who are getting scholarship from IUKL. So yeah, there are many students who would like to ask question about the scholarship. I think this is very good for you guys. So don't miss this part. This part is very important for you. Who are looking for a scholarship? Who are asking a scholarship? There are many. Yeah, ask. Okay, what is the scholarship? What is a uh, possibility to get a scholarship? So this is the part. You can see, guys. Okay, hi all. Uh, I'm uh, Hafiza Ahmad, the head of program for computer science and networking. So I'll brief on the uh, IQL scholarship and also the entry requirements. 
Okay, so this is the interesting part. Okay, so those are the candidates from the A level, those with uh, three A's, okay, is entitled, is eligible for the full scholarship, while uh, with uh, two A's uh, will be eligible for partial scholarship, which is uh, 50%. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, so is it like, uh, uh, like is it for first semester the scholarship or for whole year? Uh, sorry. Uh, Raj, can, can you help hello, Miss Afiza. <laughs> can you hear? Yeah. Me? Hello. Yes. So, brother, ask you please tell me like the scholarship is for first semester or whole year? The fifty percent scholarship. Raj, can you can you clarify on that? Raj is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Raj is frozen. Raj, come back. Uh, Raj, Raj is better No, I don't know like uh, why the internet is creating a problem. So I think brother Raj, you could re-log in. What is the question, Sobus? Oh, the question is, uh, Prof, or like uh, the students, uh, yeah, they have mentioned it, like partial scholarship. Is it for semester? Sobus, or? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, Madam Afiza, uh, can you just skip on the scholarship uh, thing? I will be uh, explain later on. Uh, you just focus okay. on the program, yeah? Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay right. I'll proceed, yeah? Yeah, so uh, I, I have an announcement. It will be covered by Raj, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So they have a good opportunity for you guys for a scholarship. So you stay with us, then you will find more scholarship. Even you can study like more scholarship will get no problems. You stay with us. Today will give some like very good announcement. Okay, let's uh, proceed to the uh, English uh, language requirements. Okay. Uh, so the for those. Uh, International student whose native language is not English, but must provide evidence of English uh, proficiency before he or she can register for a program. So the minimum requirements uh, for the English, uh, for example, for uh, IELTS is band five for the undergraduate, while for the postgraduate, it is band six. And we also accept uh, other English language uh, qualifications such as uh, TOEFL, MITE, or Pearson test in English or academy, and also common European framework of uh, reference. Okay, that's... Okay, let's uh, move to the minimum entry requirements for the Bachelor of Computer Science and uh, Bachelor of Software Engineering. Okay, okay for the... Uh, Candidate from diploma, the minimum CGPA of 2.5 in computer science or software engineering or IT or information systems or equivalent. Applicant with CGPA above two may apply for admission pending internal assessment. While those candidates from the A level, the minimum two principal passes, which is C, including mathematics and science or ICT subject. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Okay. So there are questions for the entry requirement. So I don't know why, like, uh, did not mention like HSC Alim, like the entry requirement for the students from Bangladesh because they have like a uh, matriculation like HSC. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, Alim, or, oh yeah, they have HSC, but they it have is yeah. Foundation, right? It is, is foundation. It? Foundation level. No, no, they want to join for bachelor. For foundation is SSC, secondary school certificate. Uh huh. So that is for diploma, I think. So that is not mentioned it here. If they are from, uh, may I know, from the foundation, they are entering, they are to enter bachelor. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is for it's bachelor, am I right? Foundation, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If with foundation, the minimum CGPA of two and C in mathematics and science, technology, or engineering subject. 
Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Yes. So that is, uh, if they are from uh, foundation or matriculation. Yes. All right. Um, okay. Now we move to internship. Uh, for the internship, normally the students will apply on their own or the faculty will assist on this, okay, on the placement. We have uh, various industries which uh, engage with uh, IUKL for the internship placement. And in fact, we also have uh, other subsidiaries under Protesco Group. They will also engage with us okay, for the internship. So the internship for the internship means that part. So the IUKL help students to go for internship or they place for the student for internship? or the student have to find their self to get the internship? They can find themselves or we can arrange for the placement. Okay. So, uh -huh. so the faculty so also will help the students to arrange for the uh, placement. So these are the companies, the companies who engage with us uh, for the internship, such as Mimos Perhat, Shell Global, Sony uh, DMCS, MyClear, uh, cyber solution, data prep, and Ministry of Education Malaysia, and many more. Okay. Well, there are many companies. Yeah, that's yes, great. Yes, have many. Okay. In terms of uh, professional recognition, uh, IUKL is offering uh, about uh, 60 programs. They are all uh, homegrown programs. And uh, all programs are recognized uh, both by the Ministry of Education and also the MQA. Okay. Uh, besides that, IQL also receives uh, professional recognition from various uh, local and international professional bodies such as Board of Engineers Malaysia, Board of Architects Malaysia, Land Surveyors uh, Board, Royal Institution of Surveyors Malaysia, from Cisco, from ISO, and also from APC. Oh, that's great. Okay. Professional requirement. So, you, you guys, you don't have to worry about your certificate. All of they have like the recognition. They are all recognized. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, miss. You can continue, okay. please, for the next right. year. So, now I invite uh, Dr. Haslin Hassan to continue with the programs offered okay. by the Faculty of Business. So who would like to join in the study in business? So there is your lecturer. So you can ask you guys any question for the business. Okay, Hi. Has Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, I okay. probably want to do uh, Q. No, no. Your faculty you want to do QA first? QA first? No, or? No. I want you to clarify to the students. I don't All know. Right. About <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sabu. Thank you, Mr. Rush. Thank you, my colleagues, Madam uh, Swaila, and also Madam Matiza. All right, now uh, I will introduce you, Faculty of Business, Information and Human Science. Uh, we do offer business program, you know, like business, uh, especially in business, uh, business admin, accountancy, e commerce, uh, communication, language, and also education. Uh, but for this session, we uh, we focus on all the IT program that is in under our faculty. So uh, in our faculty, we have two bachelor programs. All right. Uh, one is what you can see that one is uh, the creative side of you. So if you think you have a creative side, you can uh, try this program. You can take this program, Bachelor of Information and Technology in multimedia and then the other one is more on uh more on information system all right so it is a bachelor of information system so there are two programs that we offer here uh our requirement is a little bit, uh, little bit less little bit less than uh the computer science and so the computer uh, then then software engineering also computer science okay all right so if you would like to be like to be if you like to know or if you like to learn about multimedia application how to develop the multimedia application or how to uh how to manipulate or how to use all these 3d or 2d tools uh then you can go to this multimedia program and then the other one would be i guess you are learn more about information system that is used in the current of uh, in the current 
I would say in the current business environment. So if you work in a big company, yeah, they have this very, they have this very big IT infrastructure in order for you to manage the IT infrastructure, you need to understand all the information system or all the theories behind them, how they work. So this is the course for you. Okay. Now I think what is interesting about IT, I think what is interesting about IT is because you know, instead of working with other people, you can also have a choice to what I would say work remotely. You know, for example, in uh, in bachelor in technology, uh, in marketing technology, you learn how to develop a website, you learn how to produce a video, uh, you learn how to make an animation. All right, so you can do that kind of job. Uh, in freelance mode, all right, and then uh, you don't need to actually be employed, but someone you can do the work in freelance, uh, in one freelance basis, and then you know you can work remotely. Many people are doing that now, so that's one I think uh, one advantage of working or having these IT skills. Okay, all right. Okay, we go to the next slide. All right, this slide talks about our requirement. Basically, the requirements are all same with software engineering and also computer science. Uh, only thing is, you don't need to have uh, you don't need to have credit for mathematics as long as you pass mathematics. Then it should be okay. So you can apply for uh, you can apply for this uh, program. So that's about requirement. Okay, but I think the most the, the most important requirement is for example if you like multimedia make sure that you uh you know you are you, you interested you're really interested in this graphic design you're really interested in video production you're really interested in creative side then this uh multimedia is a very good program for you okay next slide next slide bis bis is bachelor information system uh hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, BIS is a function system. Uh, okay, we'll go back to this slide. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Pisa. All right, now I uh, just say that the uh, we just want to say that you know, uh, in in order for you to run IT infrastructure in the company, uh, in a company in multi business, especially multinational business, uh, BIS is a very good platform for you to learn all the theory and also the practice of. Uh, IT infrastructure with BIS also yeah you can also become uh, other than IT manager or doing IT administration you can also become IT support or uh, a technical support yeah uh, in in you know in many companies yeah in all companies all companies have IT right so in all companies next slide. Next slide. This is Bachelor of Multimedia. On the creative side, you can see all of the all the all the software that you will learn. These are all the software that you learn. Uh, uh, some of them, uh, some of them is actually can be certified, meaning you have to take exam for them. Uh, you can take uh, exam for the uh, Adobe certification. But if you know how to, if you know how to use this software, man, I can I can tell you, you can. There's no problem. You know how to use all this software that many people can will hire you, or you can make many type of projects related to this, using this software. Yeah, next line. Next slide is about credit transfer. Uh, I guess it's okay. Next slide. Uh, Raj will explore that uh, if you are interested. Oh, I think, uh, Doctor, uh, could you please tell something about the credit transfer? There are many students, they used to, okay, I want to study one year Malaysia, one year UK, kind of. Like, they used to ask. So, could you please refer to the students about the credit transfer? Example. Oh, you want to talk about credit transfer? Yes. Suppose I apply for, like, uh, a bachelor of business management. Can I get it transferred to USA or UK after one year? Uh, Dr. Asli, can I help you to uh, answer for this? Dr. Asli? Oh, yeah, you can answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, said, okay, okay. suppose, uh, thank you, you for your inquiry. Uh, pertaining to your questions about the credit transfer, uh, yes, uh, once the candidate has completed a certain criteria, 
uh, which the university requests uh, because some of the UK university they should be uh, they request a criteria students must be complete at least a first year or second year in Malaysia which is from UKL and then you can be help for us uh, we will be helping on the transfer the credit hours and it depends on the university in UK or US on a selected country and their requirement okay for the further checking uh, I believe students will be able to go to our website there will be a few of the industry will be listed uh, us canada uh, china ireland uh, so if they click on each particular country there will be a list of the university be listed in the website so we also be mentioned the industry requirements um, as what i told just now certain example uh, for uh, engineering it yeah they actually request at least must be complete a uh, two years in malaysia another one year can be due in the uh, uk okay uh suppose this is a question that you asked right just now yes 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 thank you very much for your explanation thank you okay. so thank you right. all right the next one i think go to slide 45. yeah okay uh this uh, this is the diploma program this is uh diploma as we told an interactive multimedia is basically the diploma for the multimedia program Okay, so if you have, I think for Bangladesh is SSC, so you can apply for uh, for this one. You have to apply for this one first before you take uh, our uh, multimedia. Oh yeah, there's one thing that uh, I didn't emphasize, I missed out just now. Uh, it is multimedia diploma and bachelor program, not just uh, not just creating, not just not just creating design, creating TV and three. Uh, animation or making videos, you also will learn how to create script, how to create stories, uh, how to write basically, yeah? uh, basically how to write uh, in terms for the video uh, to make a video or animation production. So those are the other thing that you will learn in this course as well. All right, so this one is for uh, multimedia. So you can see a uh, diploma in dip for multimedia diploma, we call it visual interactive media. So these are uh, some of the things that you can uh, you can do. You can see that it's very interesting, like desktop publisher. Desktop publisher meaning uh, designing like magazines, uh, newspaper or books or pamphlets, bro brochure, and then uh, there are many other things like script writing, also web design. So making a storyboard, storyboard something related in the script writing and animation and uh so on yeah so this is very interesting uh program if you uh if if you like uh this great uh this creative side okay can we go to the next one okay i can't see that all right, this is the entry requirement. The entry requirement, like I already I said before, is uh, uh, is it SSC, Raj? Uh, yes, sir. It's a SSC. SSC or... SSC. Yes, SSC. From SSC, actually. Yeah, it's SSC. Yeah, it's SSC. credit. Not including mathematics. As long as you have three credits, you can uh, you can apply for this course diploma uh that's yeah, great you don't have to one like yeah, as long as you have three credit so you can join the program yes correct so uh, those have you, uh, three okay. credits all right so if any student in ssc they have like around say 10 or 11 subjects so if they pass on uh, the three subject they can apply yes should not be a problem any subject as long as they have for meeting the requirement which is request three credits they can be enrolled into our diploma program for visual so this is a one of the program uh, which is the it related will not require mathematics so most of the program in iuk which is uh, it or engineering we require math is one of the mandatory subject uh, where, where students have to be scored at least c and above okay for diploma in visual interactive media we not require just three subject any subject they'll be eligible or qualified to join for the program okay for diploma visual interactive media yeah yeah okay that's correct thank you very uh, much from this the diploma, you can, yeah from this diploma you can uh you can take 
uh, Bachelor of Multimedia <laughs> Water Continuous Study. So basically it's like two, uh, diploma two and a half years and bachelor degree will be around two and a half years as well. Uh, we actually have many, uh, we actually have many companies that uh, we, we, we actually played, we actually send our students for their internship here, uh, usually around our campus, which is at Bangi Kajang, uh, also at Sabajaya. We, actually have to them we have a number of companies but i can't mention it here yeah okay that's great thank uh, you very some much of, some, of, uh, some of the companies also is already mentioned by madam Hafiza. so this is of uh this is all the it related program on the uh, faculty of business all right okay yes, so uh i guess i just i i just want to give a very short uh a very short intro short uh, introduction about our post grad this, this will be very short uh can we go to slide number 48 ah, okay so this is all right so uh are you can also we have a master program and also phd program for master program you need to have at least 2.75 cgpa but if you have 2.5, yeah, if you have 2.5, you can try apply for uh, uh, for the program, and then we will do our assessment. Uh, yeah, we will do our assessment, and probably you can join our program as well. So for MIT, MIS, we have uh, basically we have three uh, specialization. We have software engineering, which is focused more on programming. Uh, second one, we have network. Network, we focus on designing uh, the network. And then the third one was for All right, I can hear my echo. All right. <laughs> so for yeah. MIT, it will take around one. Uh, for MIT, it will take around. Uh, for master program, it will take around one year. And then, uh, if you're interested, uh, we, you can uh, move on to PhDIT. PhDIT sure. will be. So solely on. Oh, there's one thing I left out for our MIT. Uh, this is a coursework. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is by coursework. So All do right. you have the research program, Prof? I mean, doctor. Uh, do you have sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, do do you have this program by research? Uh, master so far we only have by coursework. Okay, that's correct. So uh, yeah. We have only by coursework. Uh, I can check later. If anyone is interested, we can check later and then we can respond sure. to you. Uh, don't you have MBA in your like uh, university? MBA? Uh, yes, we do have MBA. Uh, we do have MBA. Our MBA is in fact very popular. We, uh, we do have MBA in, I think, we do have our MBA students in Nepal, in two of the Nepal uh, Nepali college. So it's very popular there, but I don't really uh, have much information about this uh, MBA. But like like other programs, the MBA is also will take one year or perhaps one year plus. That will be the maximum, I think. Um, yeah, that's for MBA. Thank you very much, uh, Doctor, for your fan explanation. So, like, yes, uh, yeah. So, is it the end or what about the PhD that you want to show? PhD. Yeah, PhD. PhD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, PhD. Yeah, yeah. PhD, so what is the entry recommend for the PhD? PhD, you need to have master. Yeah, That's so all. no, no yeah. need CGPA. If any all like to below two point also can apply. Master, uh, uh, you know, master's day master. Yeah, in order okay. for you to pass master, you must have at least the CGPA. I two point five and above. Two point two point five two point seven five. Two point five and above. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, okay. you will not pass your master. So you when you if you pass your master, then you can continue with your PhD. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you very you much. <laughs> no, because uh, sometimes, okay, if you have master certificate, then you can join. But like in uh, some other countries, like 
uh, they follow in different way also. So if the CGP is below, so then we can say like you need to get like at least 2.5, oh. 7.5, like that. Okay, yeah. By the way, we do have students. We do have, uh, we do have students who uh, graduated from their master and then continue their study somewhere else. Uh, for example, I have my, uh, I think last two years we have a master student that now is studying in Stanford. Uh, so he actually is doing our master. So our master program is very, uh, very credible, I would say. Okay, yeah, there's a, a long quiet. So, <laughs> if anyone interested in a PA program, also can ask, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is the online classes. So the some other students. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is very good example for the. This is our online class through Panopto. Yes, our Madam Hafiza. <laughs> This is our Bangladesh students. Yes, yes. Oh, you the community, that. Bangladesh community. Yeah, so you guys can see it was the Bangladesh student. I don't know. Born by friend Jay Hook for the say. I okay, let's go up another journal. No worry about that. Up there, I can actually community page and Bangladeshi, even a country community. I said. So, Brother Ross, could you please tell me how many countries the student is studying now currently in IUK? Uh, we actually, we are more than actually 40 country and more than 40 country have a students. Uh, mostly they are from actually Middle East, uh, Asian country, uh, South Africa, Africa, and mostly they are from actually Yemeni, Syria, Bangladesh, Nepal, China, India, Sri Lanka, and Maldives, Seychelles, Mauritius, we have many country, more country students actually studying in IUKL. Uh, we almost have a uh, forty percent of international students in IUK, and the balance sixty will be local students. Okay, and uh, we have a top, total high population of Bangladeshi students studying in IUKL, and uh, mainly most of them actually focusing on the IT and uh, I engineering program. Blah. So one of the best programs they choose is IT. Okay, uh, many of them actually interested to go for IT in IUKL because, as I told earlier. Be one of the listed uh, one of the best program uh, for engineering IT and architecture okay and also the scholarship package we have offer they may attract them and with the facilities that we have in IUKL is a one of the unique uh, uh, actually be students are actually prefer to study in IUKL mm. any questions uh, uh, no that's that's fantastic that is very great so yeah I think the students are clear for that so the variants also can ask. So if you guys have any questions, so you can ask in Bangla also. So I have Bangla to question question. So I will explain to our guest, a special guest, to replace the questions. All right. Okay. So uh, here, like, uh, do you want to show any uh, slide? Any more? Uh, uh, I think uh, from the lecture section is done. So next, I'm going to explain about a little things about the scholarship package we offer for the our students. And since many of many of them actually are facing a financial issue at the current uh, COVID-19 situations, okay, no worry, IUK is ready to give you some scholarship for you all. As what uh, Madam Apisa been shared just now, uh, we are actually are giving a 50% scholarship, and also we are giving a 30% scholarship and a 20% scholarship for every student to actually enroll into the IU, any program in IUKL. Okay, what the criteria for to getting a 50% scholarship? The 50% scholarship you're only giving for the first semester, where we actually maintain a 85% uh, and above, we are giving a partial scholarship 50%. Wherever students have achieved 75% and above in, a, in a HSA results or SSA results, we are giving a 30%. And the rest 20% we're giving for every student, doesn't matter, as long as you're meeting the entry requirement, no worry, you can apply for the program in our year. Is it for the whole year? Yeah, yeah. Or is it for whole year? I mean, the whole is the period. Okay, it's only for the first semester. That was why, I, as what I told just now. But if yes. the students want to enjoy for every semester, a simple things, a simple tips they have to follow for me. 
Okay, you have yeah. to maintain your class attendance. You have to maintain a good relationship with the lecturers, and uh, and definitely your disciplinary issue. There's no any disciplinary issue, and also you have to maintain a CGPA three point seven five. You if you able to follow these three three simple steps, I mean the tips, you able to end. That you are talking. <laughs> no, it's essentially a simple tips lah to uh, to enjoy a fifty percent scholarship. Okay, you able to get a tuition free waiver from IUKL. Okay. Uh, as long you have to maintain your CGPA three point seven five. If you're able to do that, and definitely one of the class attendance is important. You have to keep your class attendance at least eighty percent and above. Okay. If you maintain these two, I'm telling you, easier for you to getting a a waiver fifty percent discount for every semester. So, uh, I okay. That, brother, uh, are you care giving some special scholarship for some special agent, not every agent? So could you please talk about that? So. Like uh, we could like who are representing uh, like IUK rapidly so about the scholarship so that will be help more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're making jokes, Samus. <laughs> okay, actually, uh, we are seeing every agents in the same way. Okay, we offer the same scholarship for all the agents. Okay, there's no any different. But we just are giving a little, uh, little. Uh, I mean, a, a bit of scholarship. Uh, for the special agent who actually have an agent agreement with the IUKL, okay. Uh, so if we want, we ever want to get a above scholarship more than a thirty percent or fifty percent for the entire studies, uh, mm -hmm. we willing to give, but it's based on the result and uh, based on the student's result and also definitely our management approval, okay. So I hope you have uh, I have answered the question, Mr. Sopas. Oh, oh, oh no no I did not get the answer of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I want like how a student can confirm or clarify. Okay, the student will get. Is it for like first semester or whole year tuition fees? Okay, they will getting a scholarship for the entire uh, tuition fees. If let's say it's a three years program, for the three years tuition fees will be given the scholarship. Okay, but it's so, only for the selected students, only for selected student, and make sure they have to be have getting a good result lah. It's not something that we giving for everyone. But definitely, there's uh, some uh, terms and conditions apply there. Okay. So, how I would like uh, the application like uh, is it depend on the result that we were talking yes. like thirty percent. So, what is the specialty then? If it's depend on the result, so then it is similar to everyone, isn't it? Uh no. Actually, uh, for the normal students, actually we are giving a thirty percent and twenty percent, and for the first semester, okay. okay. But uh, for the entire program scholarship is only for the selected student lah. For the selected students and uh, and make sure we will see a lot of things uh, about their results and make sure they have to be uh, uh, score eighty five percent and above in HSC or HSC, then they will be actually uh, willing. Uh, I mean, they will be entitled for that scholarship. Okay. Okay. All right. So, brother, I got question for you from our audience. Okay. Yeah. PhD in cybersecurity network security course have. Do you have that course? Uh, we uh -huh. do have only PH um doctor. Yeah, doctor. Uh, yes. For PhD, not by uh, it's not a course. It's not by coursework. It's by research. PhD is for research. So, so if, yeah. as, if Valent, yeah, it's Valentine. If you're interested in doing research in cybersecurity or in network security, yeah, you're welcome to uh, join our program. So we I'll do have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. go ahead. So, yeah, right. So, yeah. How are the tuition fees for that program? PhD in cybersecurity or related subject? Uh, okay, for the PhD for IT, it's a three years program. Uh, actually, so called you can finish your program within the three years PhD. Uh, which will be scoring. Uh, it's in the ringgit Malaysia will be forty thousand five hundred. In a dollar, uh, it will be roughly eight thousand dollar lah. Eight thousand uh, dollar for the entire program fees for the three years. Yes, plus minus within eight thousand. Yeah. Uh, cannot finish in three years. Do they can extend their like uh, further like four years or five uh, years? Okay. When we talk about PhD, it's uh, literally so flexible for the student, but definitely they have to finish within a certain period of time, lah. They can go beyond that more than three years. Uh, but it's all it depends on the faculty members and the, the way they advise. But they actually can go beyond that. Uh, I think uh, doctor can explain more on this. Uh, 
uh, I think the three years, three years is a general, uh, three years is general rules, yeah, that you have to finish your PhD by three years. Uh, I think minimum, minimum, at least you have to spend time doing your research for your PhD or completing your PhD is two years. That is, that is, that is the minimum amount. If you can show progress, if you can perform by two years, yeah, which is very, very challenging, believe me, yeah. So, uh, if you can finish it, you can complete it by two years, and it's a uh, uh, it's a proof uh, thesis. Is of course you can you can do that less than three years. Yeah, okay. it's very very challenging to finish a PhD less than three years. No, three years you don't know about Bangladesh students. There are many talented students in Bangladesh. You know, in Bangladesh, every year, like we got around a million. They become like they I mean, complete their HSC or graduated. Yeah, because we have a lot of university compared to Malaysia. We have more university. But the thing is, uh, we are looking for the good environment, good facilities, good job place. You know, everyone have expect something better, better and better. So I have another question from our audience. The student need funding. So who is going to give fund? Doctor or Brother Raj? Uh, sorry? Uh, Raj. Who is going to give fund? Raj. Uh, he need a funding. Yeah, he need a funding. Uh, is it his request for the scholarship? Is it? Yeah, funding. Funding is uh, beyond the scholarship. It's kind of like uh, it's called a kind of stipend. So the student study, they do like uh, research under any supervisor, then they can get the stipend like every month, like two thousand, three thousand ringgit. Yeah, there are some oh. universities they are offering that. Uh, I think, uh, doctor, uh, can you explain on this? Do are you can provide that some funding for the PhD students? Uh, for PhD students, yes. um, well, for the fee, I cannot answer for the fee. Yeah, for the fee okay. that is more on scholarship, but for the research, if the research is as, uh, uh, if the research is is something acceptable yeah if the research is acceptable it's good and of course uh iukl itself will fund for the research okay yeah so this, i'm talking about funding the i'm talking about funding the research not funding the fee yeah funding the fee then that will be uh that will be rush i think rush can answer that yeah uh, okay uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe uh, doctor have answered for this question about the research uh, funding. Yeah. So, okay. Any questions? Some more? Uh, suppose you have any questions? Open no, questions like sometimes they still don't want, like, you know, like some uh, other country university like China, they give, okay, full scholarship with the stipend. So the students mm. they have to pay like the food and accommodation fees. Even they okay. can. Pay, to I, I, I got it. I got it. What he uh, actually asking about is different country, uh, different rules and regulation by the university. Maybe the government might be funding for the students. OK, as for now, Malaysia so far, uh, we are giving, but it's only for the selected university and the selected students. Lah. So since RUK is one of the affordable university, we are our fees is really affordable. So I don't think so students need a funding. <laughs> Because our fees are really affordable. Even if you compare with the other industry in Malaysia, IUK is one of the affordable uh, payment in, in terms of the payment and the fees itself. Lah. Okay, the students can itself can compare okay, with the yeah, fees. Yeah, that's being one of the private industry which is the affordable fees. Yeah, that's great. So, yeah. like, uh, the students like you would like to also, which are the best programs IUK like offering for the students or? The most uh, number of Bangladeshi students whose program they like choose in IUK. Okay, uh, based on our based on our numbers of the students, actually they are mostly they are preferred to join for the software engineering and uh, bachelor of computer science. And these two program actually mostly students are preferred, okay, to join for these two. Uh, I don't know, maybe there uh, we have almost like forty percent of students actually prefer for this program. Okay, but. Uh, but yeah. my students, I admitted most of them, they joined for architecture. Why? You are saying like IT and they join in yes. the infrastructure. Uh, but okay, they are, I can see that I can compare with that. That's two. There are 30% mm -hmm. of them actually uh, interested to go for the IT 
compared to architecture, even though architecture is one of the recognized program in IUKL because we've been registered in the board of Architect Malaysia. And maybe a few of students actually prefer to go for the architecture. And mostly, uh, if you talk about the highest numbers, uh, actually they are prefer to go for the IT compared to the architecture or civil engineering. And we also have a good number of students who actually uh, prefer to go for a mechanical and a civil engineering program because, as I told earlier, IUKL is start up with the engineering program because we one of the uh, recognized university for the engineer because we have we have a light. I mean, our program is recognized by the Board of Engineers Malaysia because we are earlier we were start up as a ICRAM. ICRAM one of the training industry for the engineers in the Malaysia. Just assume that IUKL is a one of the training. Uh, I mean, it was known as ICRAM. But ICRAM was a training for the engineers in Malaysia. So from there, we're able to know that RUK is such a very strong for the engineering program and uh, other infrastructure related program. Okay, from, from your perspective yeah. and explanation that you are saying, like uh, as an ICRAM is the like main body of the IUKL, the group of companies. Yes. We and was actually uh, we was of the training. Uh, we actually was the trainer for the engineers uh, in Malaysia. You know, it's not. It's something a uh, big things we have to share here, lah. Uh, are you care? It's not something like uh, we was uh, have uh, some history on this. Hmm. Okay. okay, was in the ninety seven. Yeah. The thing is, uh, like, uh, I heard that you have also automotive, which is also popular. So the students when they join in automotive, do they get the chance to like practice in the industry or like in the company or factory? <laughs> Uh, because if you look at our pro uh, our program in uh, automotive or mechanical, uh, it's almost uh, I can be say that lah, as far as far as I know, uh, we have a seventy percent is more to practicals and thirty percent is more to the uh, theory part actually. Okay, because okay. we have our own workshop itself. So you ever uh, if anyone's actually interested to go for a mechanical or automotive, you can just go to our website itself. We have some some of our pictures uh, collection of pictures. You're able to see what are services that we're giving for the students. Okay, when we just when we just keep talking that IUK is one of the engineering recognized program, definitely we have the services for the students. Okay, and also if you compare with the fees itself, it's an affordable fees. Okay, we're giving the services, we're giving the affordable fees, and we're giving the recognized for the students itself, three in one. So the only you can find is from IUK. Okay okay that's great that's great explanation like i got another uh, question from the our audience so i'm going to show in the dashboard hi rahat khan thank you very much for your question my question is dr haslin hassan so doctor this is for you i don't know <laughs> okay offer let us know uh rahat thank you for that question uh, uh, for this session, I think uh, the, the program that we offered is a uh, Bachelor of Software Engineering, Computer Science, Network, Multimedia, and also Information System, uh, both Bachelor and also uh, Diploma. Uh, what program are you interested, Rahat? Are you from business? If you're from business, you can continue uh, Bachelor of, uh, you can continue with Bachelor of Business Administration. Your diploma, is it business? I think uh, we'll wait for question from Rahat, so I uh, hope he will uh, ask questions soon. So IUKL offering a lot of program from foundation to PhD. So if you want to join any program, so just contact with us, contact with NHS Solution. They have the Facebook page, they have YouTube channel also. So you can go on and ask the questions, whatever question you ask. So you will get the drink or if you want to ask Brother Raz also, just contact with me. I'll pass to him, no problem. So you'll get the uh, right answer from uh, there. So uh, could you please uh, roughly give a brief for the students uh, for the program fees, like for foundation and uh, the brief fees, so the student will know. And I will explain to in Bangla. So they will know also. Brother Raz, this is. OK. Uh, OK. This is like, uh, OK, for like a foundations, uh, we actually charging about free. Uh, yeah. It's a $6,000. Six thousand okay. dollar, yeah, for the entire one year program of the first. Okay, if if the students are preferred to go for the um, diploma, so it will be costing like uh, eight thousand or nine thousand dollar within within this range. So for the more details, you can able to go to our website itself to check the price uh, for more details. And for mm -hmm. the bachelor program, 
it will be costing like uh, thirteen dollar, uh, thirteen thousand dollar. Like what you are talking the fees? Is it before scholarship or after scholarship? Uh definitely it's a before scholarship. Okay. Okay. Definitely so it's a before scholarship. Okay. After scholarship. Don't okay. worry. Uh, you will get scholarship minimum twenty percent. So no worry. Okay. Yeah. Anyone can be getting a scholarship, mm -hmm. but please submit the application through uh, NS Solution. So uh, I have able to give something for the students. So it's end of the day. It depends on the management approval itself. Okay. okay. Uh, whoever reserve to get, definitely we are giving. Uh, we're not going to hide anything. Okay. Okay. All right. So people will see like you already get tell. Okay, you will get everyone. You will get twenty percent. So, so everyone will see love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the video, okay. You see, Raj already told, like, you'll give 20 percent. <laughs> sure, okay. That's you continue. So, could you please, uh, yeah, continue for the bachelor phase roughly and also master's and PhD? Uh, are you mean by the for the PhD, uh, for Ringgit Malaysia, it'll be costing like a 33,000 or 35,000 within this range for okay. master, also uh, roughly a 20 to 30. Twenty-five thousand. Uh, it's in a ringgit Malaysia. It's in a ringgit. Uh, it's in a ringgit Malaysia actually. But in the dollar will be five thousand, six thousand dollars, something around around this range. Okay. Uh, for the further checking, you are able to go to our website. Okay. We have listed all the program, even from diploma foundation until the PhD. So you just just simply click any of the program that you're interested. Okay. You are able right. to get more details on the program and the price also. You able to get lah. You just convert the even uh. There's a special here in website. You able to translate into Bengali, okay? You just translate uh the information into the Bengali. You able to know uh more details and uh, more understanding lah, okay? That's great. Thank you very much, brother Ras, for your colleague. I mean, uh, explanation you. to the students. So now I'm going to um uh our audience want to know like what is the admission procedure to IUK. How the students can process their application? They know like okay. tuition, they know, like a scholarship. They know like entry requirements. So there have two questions. One is IELTS. Do they need IELTS to apply IUK? Or uh, okay. So for you need? to app okay for student to apply for the visa, IELTS not required first. IELTS okay. is required or mandatory after the visa has approved. When the students already in Malaysia. They have to show the IELTS either 5.0 or 6.0, depends on the program, okay, for okay. them to enroll into the actual program. What the meaning of by the actual program? Actual program is the, the program that the they program. apply, they're going to apply, the main program, yeah? But IELTS, whoever doesn't have a IELTS, no problem, okay? Student English program in RUKL, okay? Uh, that one is for, only for the students who doesn't have a IELTS, no? Okay, we already have the IS, no problem. You can directly join for the actual program, yeah? Okay, from there, I, I want to give some short notice to all of the students who want to apply any university in Malaysia. So that already brother Ras informed that, like any, like IUKL, you can apply without ILTS. So when you come to Malaysia, then you have to submit the ILTS certificate. So if you cannot submit the ILTS certificate, so you will go for English course, or if you can submit the ILTS certificate, then you will go the main course. Yeah, this is the things like the IELTS requirement for every university. So if you guys yes. don't have this, don't worry. Okay, I need IELTS, otherwise I cannot apply. So don't worry about that. So you can apply without IELTS, no problems. So another thing no is like uh, make sure or want to like uh, tell to the students like about the bank statement. Many students ask me, okay, bro, do I need IELTS? I mean bank statement to go Malaysia? Could you please tell them like that? Okay, dear students, you're not required to worry anything. For you to apply in Malaysia, bank statement is not required. Unless if you apply in UK or US or Canada, then bank statement is required. For the Malaysia University, especially in the IUKL, if you want to apply, bank statement is not required at all. What you should do is just submit your passport, uh, passport pages, all pages to set and a photo with a white background and an application form, health declaration form and with the payment for the EMGS, which is for the visa application fees, RM3,000 in a dollar will be $815 
you just pay this and then by the six to eight weeks you able to know either your visa got approved or rejected but most of the time our visa will be approved lah. uh wherever we get the re getting rejected is only for certain students which their visa is uh, something an uh, error on the name and a different a different name on the passport and the result then it can be able to solve uh later on lah. yeah Okay, so that, that no, not take. required to be worried anything. Yeah. So I think for the visa, uh, you are taking like okay, the who ever like rejected previously, is it uh, the student fault about their documents like their name mistake or father's name, mm. mother's name, or yes. date of something like that? Okay, uh, this is the main common mistake that students uh, have made so far lah. Most of the students actually we are facing this issue, which is uh, just um, the error on the name. And a spelling error no need to be worried that just what you should do is go back to your school your previous school get a justification letter make sure the letter must be says that the person on the passport and a person on the getting a result are the same person if you're able to provide the letter and the emgs definitely will be considered to giving a visa okay don't make it this as a big issue for you lah. okay thank uh, you i think uh, from my side all the question is finished so if your audience have any question you can ask from my side is clear and like i don't have any question bank anymore from my <laughs> field so i think uh, today the discussion was very nice and the students here yeah, if you have any questions you just comment us or drop your question or call us you can so you can saw the um, dropping like and the last announcement i want to give from our company nsa solution giving free a ticket and we are not taking any services for any application we do process from the beginning to uh, come in Malaysia, even your registration, your hostel. Even we go with you in the hostel, we see which one you choose also. So from the beginning to till, we have uh, two office. One is uh, Dhaka, one and another one is Malaysia. So both office will support you from the beginning to end. So don't worry, even you are studying, okay, you already admitted, registered. Then after that also, we help to the students for further any problems or any issue. So no worry just apply to come or study in malaysia so you'll get the better sense better environment and better lecturer and they are always here to help you it's not like so that you can see like how friendly they are how i mean uh helpful they are so they will help you in the deeply as a son as a brother as a daughter so don't worry about that so i think that is uh, all of our like uh, ending session. Thank you very much, Dr. Haslina, and thank you very much, Hafisha, and also the smart boy like Brother Raz. And also, <laughs> we are missing Miss Swahila. So, thank you, Miss, for like I know like your network is sometimes unstable, but thank you very much for your patience. Yeah, she. <laughs> So thank you everyone. Assalamu alaikum Ramadan. Uh, so Bus, uh, I have little information to be shared. Uh, okay. Before we end with the section, I hope everyone have been, uh, have been clear with what's the program that we have, how many programs that we have in IT, and the difference between the software engineering and also the computer science. And many students actually get confused between the software engineering and uh, an engineer program. Yeah. So I, ha I hope that you guys have a clear information on this and i believe everyone is going to apply uh in iukl for the it program and if you have uh, any further questions no worry nn solution is here to be assist you so just sending an email and submit the documents and from the university side we able to help you further on this okay uh stay safe and stay home la. take care thank you i'm like you bye 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 take care thank you Bye, good night.